at a time where really difficult images are being associated with Islam. We have a long legacy of contribution to the world in its entirety. And that that legacy and that contribution and that notions should not be hijacked by rogue organizations. And the world and the media should not do the injustice of associating the classics with the fake. What did this Muslim world look like inside? The first, it was a civilization with humanity. It felt and supported and helped other humans. There's a story that an island, a disease filled the potato plantations. And their main food was potatoes in an island, especially amidst the poor. There was very little food produced that year. And a lot of people died and the Irish dubbed it the Great Hunger. And they say a million people died and a million people left, you know, the locality. A million is a lot of people to die. It isn't that there wasn't any food in Ireland, there was. But Ireland was subjugated by the English. And a lot of the property was owned by the English. So the produce that was produced was sent back to England. And the poor died in Ireland. So eventually, news of this reached the Ottoman Khalif that there are humans, non-Muslims, Christians dying in Ireland out of poverty. Please help. And this was a time where wealth, where the Ottomans were having some internal problems as well. So the Khalifa felt a huge sense of responsibility. And in his humanity with man, he promised that I will send 10,000 silver pounds to Ireland. But at the same time, he was, he was not a reckless ruler. And he recognized that Ireland is under the stewardship of Britain. So he found out how much the British Queen, Queen Victoria, is doing to help out Ireland. And he found that she's only giving 2,000 silver pounds. And he had promised 10,000. So in recognizing that this would make her look very small, he reduced his number to 1,000. Do you see that Muslim monarchs didn't want the disruptions of other lands and other systems? But he said, I have made a promise of 10,000. I have to take goods to them equivalent to that sum, although in money I will give only a thousand. So he sent a thousand silver coins, which comes to a million something in our currency, pounds, to them. And then he sent five shiploads of grains. There was no income to expect, no business. This is just helping his fellow man. And when it reached there, uh, the people were very overwhelmed. And the nobles of Ireland wrote this letter of thanks and gratitude back to the Sultan. And it reads a little like this. We the noblemen, gentlemen and inhabitants of Ireland want to express our thanks and gratitude for the Ottoman Sultan's munificent assistance. The Sultan's assistant response to this aid call displays an example to European states. Numbers were relieved and saved from perishing through this timely act. We express our gratitude on their behalf and hope that the Ottoman Sultan and his dominions will be saved from the afflictions which have befallen us. In recognition of the timely act of this gracious Khalifa, they adopted the symbol of the crescent in the star and some of their government buildings. And today, their soccer team wears this proudly on their shirts in memory of what the Ottoman Khalif had done for them at a time when very few would come to their aid. And not only did Istanbul send 
but other Muslim parts of the Islamic Khilafat, Bombay and other countries, they all sent goods to this land so that they could save their fellow man. And you contrast this approach with the senseless approach that is being associated with Muslim governments today. Um, and you see a direct contrast that what is real and what is fake.